G'day my fellow media collectors and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk About. Yes, and today's episode is a hot topic out there at the moment and I thought I would get into it. And that one is today the one about the casting of Julia Garner as Shala Bell, who is another silver surfer for the new Fantastic Four movie. Now, people are going nuts over this, but the only people that are going nuts over this are, how can we put it, as my daughter calls them, the Marvel Bros. <laughs> These are, how can we put it, uh, misogynistic, toxic fellows who don't like the fact that women get cast in anything, <laughs> really. And the 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 irony of this is, and it, and it is so laughable, it honestly is, um, <laughs> they're they're irate because a female has been cast in a female role. <laughs> it is hilarious. Now, um, like, I, I've, like, my brother used to read Silver Surfer and I used to read his comics, so I know a little about Silver Surfer and his past, but Shala Bell, I hope I'm getting that name right, um, she is the female version of Silver Surfer. So she is a canon character that has been in the comic book for years. She, it's like a Hulk or She-Hulk or that type of thing. So, but I think she might have been a romantic interest. I'll have to look into that or maybe you can. <laughs> I remember hearing that at some point. But, um, so instead of giving us the normal Norman, uh, Norman Rad Silver Surfer, which I was actually kind of looking forward to, no disrespect to this other Silver Surfer, but I personally wanted to see the OG uh, Silver Surfer, um, they've decided to go with a female one, which is fine. She is an actual character. She's canon. There's no bait and switch or any of this bullshit that everyone's going on about, um, or gender swap or any of that type of stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of interesting to see people online, only online, it's, and of course it's only one section online, but to see the outpouring of oh, the MCU and all that bullshit, um, the fact that they've cast a female in a female role is just, uh, and, and I, it's pretty clear that a lot of them, they're irate about something they don't know, and they're just saying that it's Oh, they've cast her as the actual Silver Surfer, Norn Radden, as opposed to the fact that she's actually a canon character. So it is laughable. It is hilarious to see it all. Um, so, yeah, I want to get your thoughts. Do you care? Uh, look, I don't. Like, as long as we get a Silver Surfer, male or female, doesn't matter. They're both canon characters, so it, it's still going to have a herald of Galactus. As long as they do Galactus good, that's all I'm worried about. And he's not going to be some friggin mist <laughs> like last time i want to see galactus just like he does in the comics please uh just a small little request of mine that's all i ask so i'm quickly going to go through the rest of the cast that's already been uh, announced for the fantastic four and i've just got my phone here because i can't remember off the top of my head um so yeah i'm just going to give a little bit of a spoil on who i uh, uh, to tell you the truth, it is going to be quick because I don't really know any of them. So, uh, of course, we've got Pedro Pascal as uh, Mr. Fantastic. And look, I love Pedro. I thought he was great in The Mandalorian. I've seen him in some movies and stuff. Um, was it The Last of Us he was in just not long ago? Me and my daughter watched a bit of that. He was really good in that too. He is a good actor, don't get me wrong. I really, I really enjoy him and I think he's great. Is he a Mr. Fantastic? I don't know, like, I'm open to it, but after 40 years of reading comics and I look at Mr. Fantastic this way and then they're offering me this guy looks like this, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it just, is his personality, like his acting style and his look and whatever, maybe you can pull it off and I'll be sitting here going, well, he's the best Mr. Fantastic we've ever had, I don't know, but um, from initial looks... Uh, I don't want to go down the old Heath Ledger Joker path, but uh, I'll probably be wrong. But yeah, it just, I don't know, it struck me as an odd choice. Um, now, the others 
I don't really know the others. So we have Vanessa Kirby as the Invisible Woman. Someone will have to tell me who she is in the comments. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I've seen her in something. I don't know. But I do like the fact that they've picked a lot of relatively unknowns. It's almost down that George Lucas Star Wars path where you, you try and pick as many unknowns as you can so people don't associate them with other characters. They're pretty fresh. They're pretty new. Um, they kind of, you associate them with that character, which I, I like that idea. Um, so, yeah, I don't know much about her. Joseph Quinn, uh, as I believe he's the one that's playing Johnny Storm. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he's the guy out of Stranger Things that everyone's just fanboying and girling about. Um, I don't watch Stranger Things, so I don't know. But he kind of, he's got the look. I mean, they all, well, Vanessa does too. Um, I guess we'll see. Um, be interesting to see. You let me know what you think. And Eben Moss Bacharach. Never heard of this guy either. Um, so some relatively new to the scene kind of people. Um, so interesting to see what goes on and whether they can all pull it off. But if you know who a lot of these are and whatever else, please comment below and let me know. So uh, yeah, they're my thoughts on the Fantastic Four and the new Silver Surfer announcement. So as you do, that's what this show is about. Get down there and comment away. Let me know what you think. I promise to try and get to every comment I can, and I promise to try and answer you within at least 24 hours. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little hard. I've got a very, I've got a lot on, <laughs> but I will do my best to answer your comments. So, and I love like last week's episode was great. Everyone got involved. Everyone was giving me thoughts on the Crow trailer, and I got some interesting ideas. People had some really great thoughts, and there was some great conversations. So, hopefully, we can do that again this time. And uh, just as a little side note. Sorry, Rob, I did promise a Deadpool Wolverine episode this week, but this was a hot topic I had to get on top of it. <laughs> I'll do Deadpool Wolverine next week. So there, there's something for you to look forward to. So again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy these episodes. Uh, it seems that you're, uh, you are liking it. So uh, here's to another midweek episode of Let's talk about it. All you do is talk and talk and talk. Hey, hey, if you want to see some more of my reviews, click that one. Or maybe you want to see some of my collection updates. Got you covered too. Why don't you click that one there? And of course, don't forget to do the most important thing. Don't forget to throw me a like and don't forget to hit that subscription button as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.